Today is a simple video showing all the Ground Zero quests and how to find, get, and complete these quests for the beginner map. Obviously we have a lot to go over, so in the upper right hand corner there will be a link to resources showing you exactly where the extracts of the map are located, so once you've completed all quests you will know where to go to leave the map. First up, shooting cans. This quest will require you to go to the Empire building to locate the machine gun while the capitol building will have the AGS grenade launcher. The last step to this quest will require you to uh, eliminate 5 targets on ground zero. These can be scabs or PMCs for a total of 5. Next quest is saving the mole. This quest contains 5 different objectives. First, you must locate the USAC PMC group at the parking lot of the terror group complex. This location is quite exposed and has many different lines of sight, aside from it being highly contested. Continuing, you will need to locate the lab scientist. He will be down this back hallway buried underneath the rubble of the fallen ceiling. It should be noted that if the key is not on the scientist when searching his body, this means somebody has already taken it and opened the door upstairs for that room. Next, we will access the scientist's office and locate and obtain the scientist's hard drive, which when picked up will show in your in-grade inventory and not on your person. Moving to the next quest, first in line, simply requires you to locate the Emercom station. The remaining objectives for the quest are to hand over any found in raid medicine items. To know if an item fits the description, there will be an orange check instead of a white one showing if it's eligible for a quest. When hovering over the check, it will detail which quest it applies to. The last quest that can be completed for your first raid of the map will be Burning Rubber. For this quest, it requires you to use the paid vehicle extraction. The extraction is located to the right of the Terror Group Headquarters building. It is very common for this extract to have already been taken or highly contested because all players will also have this quest. There's one last quest left for this map, so if you don't want to fight for it, or the extract has already been taken, you'll just have to leave the map via one of the other extracts. Once you turn in the quest, Shooting Cans, through the Trader Prapper, he will give you your next quest debut. Debut, once completed, will give you your final Ground Zero quest, Luxurious Life. As you can see, now that we've completed Saving the Mole from Mechanic, he has now given us Introduction. Introduction will be the next quest to go for in getting the quest debut complete, helping you unlock the last remaining quest on Ground Zero. To complete Introduction, you must first travel to the Crash Plane on Woods. This is located on the southeastern corner of the map, right above the extract ZB-016, or commonly known as ZB-16. After grabbing Jaeger's Note, before leaving the map you will want to kill 5 scavs to complete the subtask for debut. Now, let's run through some insanely tense PvP with some scavs and PMCs to complete this part of debut. Now that that's done, we can conveniently take the vehicle extract that is located on the bridge at the very back side of the scab village. Note, when taking the vehicle extract, you will earn scab reputation with fence that can be very useful later on in your character and player scab progression. As you can see, my character is now over level 5, allowing me to now get daily quests from the traders. This is super helpful when progressing, as the rewards and XP you will get from completing these will add to your in-game progression. Now after turning in Jaeger's note to mechanic, that unlocks Jaeger as a trader who we can buy and sell to, 
allowing us to obtain the two MP133 shotguns needed to complete the remainder of debut. Now that debut has been completed, we can accept Luxurious Life, the last quest for Ground Zero. The requirements for this quest are to locate the liquor store, locate and obtain the wine bottle in the store, and then hand over the wine bottle. Now the liquor store, aka ASAP Winery, is located just across the street from the Terror Group HQ. As you can see, this area is super high traffic, and most of the time PMCs will wait a while before coming back to this location to complete this quest. So expect to find higher level PMCs around this area as well. Now the wine bottle is a slim bottle. As you can see there is a lot of areas where this quest item can spawn. The item is a dynamic spawn as well, so you'll have to go through most of the shelves in the store to find it. But it's most commonly found in the back storage room, so I'd always check there first. Once you've obtained the quest item, you can head straight for extraction, even if you're in and out before the minimum 7 minutes or experience needed to receive the survived raid status on extraction, the item will still remain in your inventory. Once out of raid, you will go straight to the trader Prapper to hand over the wine bottle. Once that quest is turned in, you are now done with the main ground zero questline and you can continue to the other maps to progress your PMC. 